Hello friends, this video on metal and non-metal part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 9. Now, please pay a little more attention in this question. We have to differentiate the metal and non-metal on the basis of the chemical properties. So, I'll write the chemical properties of these metals and non-metals. Just please pay attention here. So, the first difference is metals are electropositive and non-metals are electronegative. That means they are reducing agents and these are oxidizing agents. Example if you take sodium it will easily give one electron to becomes an A plus. Correct? If you say chlorine it will easily take one electron or chlorine electron plus chlorine it will take one electron to become chlorine minus. So they are electronegative. So generally electropositive means when they are positive, they are more stable. Right? And electronegative means when they are having negative charge, they are more stable. This, this form is more stable. Correct? And they are reducing agent. And this guy is oxidizing agent. Correct? Because it, this guy will reduce some other thing. Because they, they will try to get the positive charge. They will lose one electron. Since there is an electron extra, this electron will be given to someone else and that guy will reduce. Right? This guy is oxidizing then because this guy needs an electron, it will take electron from someone else and that guy will become oxidized. Correct? Now, if you talk about the reaction with oxygen, when you say metal and you react with oxygen, you get basic oxide. Please note, the oxide you get is basic oxide. Right? For example, if you see Na plus O2, you get Na2O. Correct? They are all basic oxide and they are all ionic bond. Because they this guy becomes Na plus, right? This becomes O2 minus and they are all stable and they have this ionic bonds. But in this case, when you say non-metal and you add oxygen, this becomes acidic or neutral, acidic or neutral oxide. You see, carbon plus oxygen gives CO2, right? That's a acidic oxide, and they have a covalent bond. These oxides have covalent bond. And these oxides have ionic bond because here carbon is will be sharing. Because see, the rule is very simple. Sodium can give electron. Oxygen will always take electron, right? If sodium can give electron, oxygen can take electron. Sodium will become stable because it needs the extra electron. Oxygen will take the electron and will become stable, right? So they'll all be stable and they'll have an ionic bond. In this case, carbon will say I won't give electron because it's a non-metal. Oxygen will say I will not give electron because oxygen is also not metal. Both are not willing to give electron. So what will happen? So in that, in this case, they will share electron. And they will share electron, they will form a covalent bond. So we will we'll discuss more about uh, these bonds in the in some chapter. Uh, now we are not required to learn this. Maybe in the next chapter we will learn more about these bonds. But let's understand this uh, ionic bond. One guy is willing to give, one guy is willing to take. Both become stable. One guy becomes stable by giving, like sodium electron and one guy becomes stable by taking electron is oxygen both are stable and they have this ionic ionic bond case of non-metal reacts with oxygen it's again a non-metal nobody is willing to give electron right so they have a, a principle of sharing the electron they share the same electron in that case the covalent bond is formed. correct now let's react uh, talk about the reaction with water so if i have a metal if I react with water, right, so what you get is oxide, you generally get oxide or you get hydroxide, right. For example, you have sodium, you react with water, you get sodium hydroxide. But non metal plus water is equal to no reaction. There is no reaction 
of non metal with water okay now let's talk about the reaction of metal with dilute acid please know dilute acid not concentrated acid dilute acid when the metal react with dilute acid generally we form salt and hydrogen gas except nitric acid where you don't get but other other acid you get salt and nitric acid uh, so salt and hydrogen gas for example you have sodium again you react with the hydrochloric acid you get nacl and h2 gas but in case of non metal you talk about dilute acid there is no reaction they won't react with dilute acid now let's talk about the displacement double displacement reaction actually double displacement reaction when this uh, metal react with solution of metal so metal plus solution of metal so this happens reaction happens sometimes based on the reactivity if this guy is more reactive and this guy is less reactive this reaction happens right similarly in this case is the metal react with solution of metal so here non metal react with solution of non metal and there also reactive thing, things happen so it's more reactive it displaces it so so this is how the difference uh, between the metals and non metals based on their chemical property not on physical property based on chemical property uh, the metals are electropositive they are electronegative electropositive means they are more stable when they have positive charge electronegative means they are more stable when they have electronegative charge and metal plus oxygen gives basic oxides which are basic in nature and they have ionic bond non metal plus oxygen gives oxygen acidic oxide or neutral oxides they are covalent bond because they are not able to none of the met non metals in the oxygen are willing to give electrons metals react with water to give oxides and hydroxide non metal doesn't react with water metal react with dilute acids non metal doesn't react with dilute acid and metal react with salt of the metals in that case double displacement reaction happens in case of the uh, met this metal is more reactive than this metal then in that case double di double displacement reaction happens so this is all the difference between metals and non metals based on their chemistry thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again